Hello, this is Spartan Commander, and this is the 51st Rome Total War Brotherhood battle that I put onto YouTube. Uh, the team I'm in today consists of uh, myself, Spartan Commander, uh, with my experimental Carthage army. My next teammate is Brotherhood member Talos with the Rome Scipio faction. And our final teammate is a Crimson Overlord, who's called himself Feck in this game, but it is actually Brotherhood member Crimson Overlord, and he has bought the Rome SBQR faction. So that's our Brotherhood team, um, a pretty good team, I think. And wait till you see the uh, the other team, full of really great players. I hope this will be a really great battle for you to watch. And here are the other team. Uh, to start off with, we have Titans member Hades, who has bought the Rome Brutio faction. We then have Titans member SK, who has bought the Macedon faction. And then we have um, clan member, uh, clan member of the Heaven clan called Mercury, and he has bought the Rome Julio faction. Um, I thought uh, at this stage of the game we would just have a look at the. Uh, the Macedon army here. Um, if you have a look there, I think you'll find that um, he's got 17 units of um, Macedon pikemen there, and he's got three Cretan archers as well. Now, bearing in mind that those Macedon pike units have got 120 men per unit, that's a heck of a lot of men he's got in there, more than 2,000 men I think he's got in his army. And with those great big long pikes, uh, this should be a, an interesting battle between the My Little Carthage army and this Macedon army. Let's see what happens. At this stage of the battle, I thought you might like to look at Titan Hades' um, pilot shield units here. Um, very unusually, he's got his two pilot shield units actually, if you like, pointing out from his main battle line instead of across the front of them. Um, I think that's quite an interesting um, way to, uh, to to use a pilot shield. As you see here, he's forming this uh, unit up into a testudo now. Um, but uh, I just thought it was quite interesting to have a look at um, the pilot shields actually pointing out from the main battle line rather than across like we usually have them. Uh, I just wondered how effective that will be. At this stage of the battle you can see that um, Brotherhood member Crimson Overlord has just done a cavalry charge into that uh, unit that went into Testudo formation a few minutes ago. And you saw the, the impact of the cavalry there has routed that uh, Testudo unit. Um, there, so that was uh, that was quite a good cavalry charge there by Crimson, and I got a feeling on this right flank there's going to be a great skirmish battle going on here between these two great players. At this stage of the battle, I thought I'd draw your attention to how um, Titans Hades is using his cavalry. Can you see how he split his cavalry up into the kind of like individual units? You see this one charging into uh, one of Crimson's pilot shield units in open order formation there so that when that cavalry unit hit it did cause a lot of casualties as you know uh, most of us keep our cavalry together in a big bunch ready for um, you know a big hit on infantry or a, a cavalry battle but if you notice that Hades has actually like kind of split his cavalry up for individual hits on the enemy team here you can see that uh, Brotherhood member Talos has put three urban units out in front of my Carthage sacred band and if you notice they're all piling, throwing their pilers into the Macedon main battle line there what he's doing that, why he's doing it is actually to obviously weaken the main Macedon battle line for when um, I actually come into contact with them so a uh, great bit of teamwork there by Talos and uh, I think he's killed quite a few enemy there Here you can see Hades using his uh, unusual cavalry um, tactics here to great effect, sending in two cavalry units there that has routed um, one of Crimson Overlord's um, units there. But if you notice that Crimson also sent a lot of pilers in their direction, and I think uh, he lost a lot of cavalry in that charge. But uh, I think it's uh, an unusual way that he uses cavalry, and um, from what I can see it's quite effective. At this stage of the battle, I thought I'd show you how well my Carthage um, slingers work here. Uh, they're the, uh, the long-range slingers, the Balearic slingers, and they've got quite a good range, and they can do quite a bit of damage. Um, I noticed I started to target the, uh, the enemy Cretan archers, and the enemy uh, general actually moved them back because he was suffering so many casualties 
from my archers. And what I'm doing now, I'm targeting a cavalry unit. If you look closer, you'll see the slingshots coming in onto that cavalry unit, causing casualties. And the general hasn't noticed it. Hades hasn't quite noticed it, that he's being hit. He's just noticed it now, and he's retreating. But if you see, my, uh, my slingers killed quite a few there. Now what I'm going to do now is I'm going to pull the slingers back um, to avoid any more um, kills from the uh, the Cretan archers, which of course have got the range on my slingers there. But uh, they did quite a good job there. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to keep them at the back there, out of range of the Cretan archers, but not too far because I want to bring them back in to pepper any enemy cavalry charging into my teammate. At this stage of the battle, you can see that I've decided to take the battle to the enemy. The Macedon army in front of me, me have been waiting um, for battle for uh, for all the way through this game. So I've decided to actually attack. And if you notice, uh, my Carthage um, Sacred Band now are moving forward towards the Macedon uh, pikemen there. And the first thing my Carthage Sacred Band have got to do is fight their way through those long pikes to get to the infantry. Here's a bit of close-up um, fighting there. Now if you notice the enemy Brutii infantry here... Uh, I've still got all their pilers. I think they've actually just th uh, threw in a, um, a lot of pilers into my flank, but he's still got another throw, I think, at least. And if you see, they're going to throw their pilers into my Carthage Sacred Band now. Whack! And uh, that caused quite a few casualties there. Um, but I'm just going to keep moving forward towards the, uh, the Macedons there as pikemen. I'm just going to keep my attack moving forward there. Um, if you notice that um, Crimson Overlord is moving some infantry in there to protect my flanks. And if you notice on the other flank, um, Brotherhood member Talos is there um, protecting my other flank there, allowing me just to try and plough forward with my infantry into the, uh, into the long pikes of the Macedons. Um, I think I'm still getting some pilot hits from the enemy Brutii um, Roman infantry there coming into my flank there, but... Um, I'm just going to keep uh, keep pressing forward here. As you can see, there's more Macedon, uh, another Macedon reinforcement unit just been brought up there. And there's some close in fighting of uh, the Sacred Band and the uh, and the Royal Pikemen of Macedon. And also, if you notice, I've got some um, enemy Brutii infantry attacking my flank as well there. So. Um, but the thing is, I'm just, I'm just going to keep going. I'm just going to try and keep um, ploughing into those, uh, those um, Macedon pikemen in front of me there. As you see, Crimson Overlords brought more infantry across now to protect my right flank even more, keeping the uh, the Brutii infantry off as much as he can. Um, and all the time, I'm just keeping trying to keep my forces moving forward all the time into those uh, those Macedon pikemen trying to there's no there's no strategy or anything for me here all i'm trying to do is punch a hole through those macedon pikemen there that's that's what my game um overall goal is if i can break through those macedons uh, and route them then uh, then we've won the center ground which would be great as you can see on the right there there's brutii cavalry charging into um crimson overall but if you see talos has brought his cavalry in he's charged his cavalry in now and now crimson's charging his cavalry in as well so there's a double impact of cavalry going in there all those uh all that cav uh, charge bonus has just gone in there. If you notice uh, behind the main uh, enemy line now, um, the enemy Julii cavalry are coming across to support his ally. Notice his cavalry are in wedge formation here, so that when they hit, they're going to get maximum penetration from their uh, from their cav charge bonus. So when those uh, Julii cavalry hit, I think they're going to hit hard. And there you can see the Julii Cavalry charging in now. Through um, his teammates uh, Brutio Infantry, smack straight into Crimson Overlord's infantry there. If you notice, Talos has brought some infantry across to help Crimson Overlord there. That was a great uh, Brotherhood support move there. And as you can see, there's the Crimson Overlord and Talos's cavalry are counter-charging that, uh, that Julii Cavalry that's just charged in there. I think this uh, this right flank of ours is going to make and break this game, and I think Talos and Crimson know it as well. That's why they've sent all their cavalry over there, and Talos has sent some extra infantry as well. As you can see, the Julii cavalry have pulled back, uh, kind of recharge recharging the batteries, ready to charge back in when they're ready. But um, 
as you can see a uh, great teamwork on my left flank by Taylor Sarah holding off the enemy Julia cavalry from my flank as you know for uh, for pike units uh, their flank and rear are their most um, vulnerable parts so with my teammates holding the enemy off from my flanks so I'm managing just to go forward straight into those Macedon long pikes as you see on the right here uh, Talos has just done a fantastic cavalry charge in there and just routed several Brutio units there Crimson Overlord's infantry is holding extremely well against the massive cavalry and infantry uh, hits that he took earlier and as you can see uh, the Julio cavalry are charging in again in their wedge formation And bang, and then straight away you can see both Talos and Crimson Overlord are counter attacking with their cavalry. And I think this could be a, a bit of a rout here on the right for us here. That was just some cavalry hit that just went in there from Talos and Crimson to rout the enemy there. If you notice, the uh, the Macedon pikemen here are gradually breaking in the center, and my Carthage Sacred Band are gradually uh, breaking through there. And if you noticed, and there's the Macedon generals just been killed. If you notice now, Crimson Overlord's bringing his victorious infantry from the right flank over to the centre now. Did you see uh, the Macedon? Uh, most of the Macedon pikemen have uh, broken now. I think there's one Macedon unit left, and uh, Crimson's attacking there with his SBQR uh, infantry. I'm now moving my pikemen over to that unit as well. Over on the left, you'll see that Talos has just charged in with a cavalry hit there, and is sending in the infantry that he sent over to help. Crimson, he's now taken back over to the left flank there to help defeat the uh, the remaining Julii cavalry and infantry there. Did you see um, with Crimson attacking, my pikemen attacking, and Talos attacking? I wouldn't think that the uh, the enemy Julii team will will be able to last very much longer, especially with um, Crimson now getting infantry in behind uh, the Julii. Um, infantry there and if you see Talos doing a smart move here doing a left flank in action um, using all of his years of experience there knowing that uh, a flank or a rear attack is what's gonna start routing the uh, the Julii uh, army there and as you can see um, Crimson Overlord just brought his cavalry in around the rear to smash into the back of the Julii fighting infantry so that's going to route a couple of the units as a bit like a hammer and anvil attack there do you notice my pikemen were like the anvil and his cavalry were uh, like the hammer there and that's uh, that looks like um, the final Julii units have, uh, have routed now that was uh, a really uh, I thought it was a really great battle there um, if you look at the dead on the battlefield here uh, it just goes to show how fierce the fighting was and how many uh, by how many dead there are on the battlefield and bearing in mind it's only a 3v3 you can see how many dead there are on the battlefield I um, hope you enjoyed it I would just like to say that was a really great battle to be in. Um, first of all, I'd like to say really well played to the other team. Um, there were some fantastic cavalry, massive cavalry hits going in, and some great strategic moves too. I noticed there was a lot of um, great infantry and cavalry movement around the battlefield by um, the enemy team there. Also, I'd like to say really well played to Brotherhood member Talos and Crimson Overlord, um, especially um, for their great um, support of my army watching my flanks uh, they're they're both uh, great um, team players anyway as, as all the Brotherhood members are but I thought in this battle they were especially good in the way they supported my Carthage army allowing me to keep attacking forward with my flanks covered uh, so I hope you all enjoyed the battle and this is Spartan Commander saying uh, see you soon and bye for now